Good morning, good afternoon. This is Isabelle about LGI or livelihoods, gender and impact. Let's start with the program objective and link to our strategy. So what is our, our purpose in this program is to identify and test promising innovations in terms of technological innovations like a new feed, organization and institutional in terms of a new arrangement linking farmers to markets, for example, to increase men and women participation in livestock value chains and the benefits they derive, as well as to monitor and evaluate those innovations for impact and potential for scaling. So the livelihoods is about those innovations and then you recognize the gender issues and, and the impact. What success looks like, it's our new findings are widely published and discussed. We as well see research, development and private sector partners are using those findings to adapt, adopt and promote those innovations. And we have documented positive impact of those innovations on, on livelihoods. Now moving to strengths and weaknesses and starting with the proud moments. You may know about the East Africa Day Development Project. The phase two moved away from the one size fits all hub approach we followed in the first phase, an approach that was about promoting collective action around chilling plant, and that was based on the evidence uh, generated by, by Ilri. The second broad moment is about gender. We see an increasing interest in, in gender, and this is very stimulating for us. The recent call on livestock and, by livestock and fish to integrate gender in our work uh, generated 24 concept notes very varied, ranging from how to integrate gender in animal health to, uh, to spatial analysis. Finally, on, more on the research side, in 2014, we published 100 research output and 16 in peer-reviewed journals. Moving to uh, dull moments, we still have a too strong focus on East Africa, and we have not been as successful as we wanted on raising funds on bilateral projects. We face uh, challenges in our gender team in terms of number of staff to be able to answer the, the request and the need. And we do have to need to move outputs, more outputs into peer reviewed publication. Now moving to prospects for collaboration. What does LGI need from other parts of Ilri? We have good link with ASSP and we see it as a liaison mechanism to biosciences to identify those technologies I mentioned in my previous slide to increase pollinator capacity to increase productivity and adaptability. We would like more from LSE looking at climate smart technologies in particular. What are the trade offs or are they win win? Uh, more from food safety and the losses on nutrition and food safety, the measurements and the relations with women empowerment in particular and more from PTVC in terms of overall value chain performance as we focus uh, more on the smallholder node, as well as the links between institutions and the changes we see at producer level. And on blue sky research, what new technologies will be game changers for smallholders? A super chicken, a super cattle feed, cheap and reliable diagnostic tool. We need technologies, please. What would a dream alliance, alliance look like? Uh, it's about joint planning. Joint planning of a new technology, be it productivity enhancing or labor saving, is likely impact on women and men smallholders and delivery me mechanisms discussed before the product is ready for that adaptation can already happen before it's actually finally delivered. That was my presentation. I do look forward to your comments and please listen as well to my two colleagues who will talk about our, our science in LGI. Thank you very much.